cardiac arrest claims nearly 350,000 lives each year. Yet many of us don't know the best way to help someone survive. Here with more on emerg emergency cardiac care is Dr. Julio Panza, Section Chief of Cardiology at Westchester Medical Center. Joining him is Drew Arthur, who survived a CSCA at the young age of 35. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Doctor, first let's clarify, what is the difference between a sudden cardiac arrest and a heart attack? A sudden cardiac arrest is when the heart stops working as a pump and therefore there's no circulation of blood to any part of the body. Uh, that's particularly important to organs that are very sensitive to the lack of oxygen, such as the brain. And a heart attack is when there's a blockage of the artery that supplies the blood flow to the heart itself. A heart attack can cause a cardiac arrest, but it not always does, and they're really two different things. Now, CPR can uh, be essential, but why is it sometimes not enough? The reason it's not enough is that the most common cause of a cardiac arrest is an abnormal rhythm of the heart. And CPR, with, uh, by means of chest compression, can maintain temporarily circulation to vital, vital organs such as the brain uh, by means of chest compression, but it does not restore the normal rhythm of the heart. Uh, so the heart is maintained in a sort of standstill situation. And what you need to do is to try to restore what we call spontaneous circulation. And, and you can only do that by means of providing an electric shock that converts that abnormal rhythm back to the normal rhythm and, and thereby provides the heart with the ability to pump blood to the entire body. Understood, thank you. Now, a sudden cardiac arrest, um, it can strike at any moment. It can also affect any age group, am I right? That is absolutely correct, unfortunately so. Now, Drew, uh, sitting next to you here, is an example of someone it happened to at a quite young age. Drew, you experienced a sudden cardiac arrest at 35 years old? I did. Yeah, I just returned from about five days of hiking in the uh, back country of Maine and uh, was just at my desk on a Monday afternoon and, and went to get up and I went into a sudden cardiac arrest. Um, with, uh, for me, the next thing I knew was I woke up in an ICU bed uh, hearing kind of all the, the patient monitoring bells and dings. Uh, but what I found out had happened was that I fell back into my chair working, uh, basically struggling through the cardiac arrest. And luckily for me, fellow coworkers heard the sounds. At first they weren't sure, it, it was I doing some kind of strange breathing or what was going on, but, but uh, one of the coworkers actually knew the signs and they called the emergency response line. And that actually calls a volunteer organization at our workplace who's ready to act in, in certain emergencies. And for me, uh, the first responder began CPR immediately while the next responder uh, got the heart start uh, AED. And after uh, applying two shocks, uh, I returned back to a normal heart rhythm. Wow. And uh, as the story goes, sat up, said I was uh, ready to go back to work and feeling fine. Wow, some true real life heroes who, who helped you through that situation. Oh my goodness. Uh, doctor, what do you think can be done to improve um, preparedness, um, for instance, in the workplace, like what happened to Drew? Right. So what can be done is for every workplace to have AEDs, these automated external defibrillators. They're very simple to use machine and for the workers to be trained in their use. And the training is uh, very simple. You don't need to be a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic uh, and usually a heart attack and a sudden cardiac arrest occurs not in front of a doctor so it is critical that your fellow co-workers such as in Drew's case are prepared to use these machines because they can be life-saving. Dr. Panza thank you so much and Drew uh, we're glad you joined us thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Lead the way to save a life with emergency cardiac care solutions. Log onto the website on your screen for more information.